close your eyes, take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. And be very conscious of how you breathe, how it feels as the breath comes in, breath goes out. If long breathing feels comfortable, keep it up. If not, you can change. Make it shorter, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Try to find what rhythm of breathing feels good right now, because you do have the power to make that choice. There are a lot of things in the world that we have no power to choose about. It's just going to be the way they are. But fortunately, the things that make a difference between whether we're going to be happy and whether we're going to suffer are in our power, if we learn how to train the mind. So work on training the mind to stay right here, get it so that it obeys you. We look at the world outside, the news is pretty bad. And as I say, if you don't like the news, well, make some of your own. Of course, we're not here to show off our, our practice, but make it the news inside your mind. That greed comes up and you can say no. Anger comes up, you say no, that's newsworthy. Because there's so many things that they tell us that they tell us are newsworthy outside the world outside. And it's stuff that you can forget pretty quickly. But if you've learned how to say no to your defilements, that's something worth remembering. Because then you can remember. Once you've said no, it may be difficult in the beginning, but you feel good afterwards. You feel right afterwards that you haven't been allowing yourself to be made a slave to your defilements. And then the next time they come around, you can remind yourself how good it felt to say no over the long term. What good results resulted from that. That's news that's rem worth remembering, because you can put it to use. So make sure that your mind does newsworthy things every day. And as I said, it doesn't matter whether they pick it up on the internet or on the social media, but the fact that you know inside that you're able to say no to your defilements and you're able to make it stick, that's good news. And we can make that news every day, every day puts us in power. Because after all, even though we all live in the human world, each of us has his or her own world. And it's shaped very much by your actions. So shape your world and the news in your world with good actions. Actions where you're generous, actions where you're virtuous in times when it may be difficult. Actions when you're able to get some control over your mind. And that, worth, that news, as I said, is worth remembering, because it's useful news. It teaches you some important lessons about the nature of your mind, about the power you have. Even in this world where there's a lot of bad news outside, you can create good news in your world. And that's where it really counts, because not only is it good in your world, but it begins to spill out into the world outside. You're having a good influence on your own actions, and that can't help but have a good influence on other people, too. So this is how we make news, and whether the news lines pick it up, that doesn't matter. The fact that you know that you've done something good, remember that. As the Buddha says, take joy in that and continue training in skillful qualities day and night.